So, uh, over the last couple of days, obviously, we had the end of the NFL draft, and now you were getting some of the responses, some of the reactions from the current NFL players as to some of the guys that may be coming in to these organizations to replace them. And one of the ones that popped up, you know, we had a press conference with Ryan Tannehill, and Ryan Tannehill said uh, it is not his job to mentor Malik Willis, of course, the quarterback out of Liberty that was drafted by the Tennessee Titans. He said it would be a great thing if he learns from me. This article in USA Today by Ben Arthur kind of goes through it. Uh, first, you know, we we find out that Ryan Tannehill had to go to therapy after the season-ending loss to the Bengals in the playoffs. Remember, the Titans were the number one seed overall. They would have hosted the AFC Championship game if Ryan Tannehill basically doesn't throw three interceptions and, and lose them the game, right? They, they, they were set up for a trip to the Super Bowl or at least a good opportunity for it because they would have hosted the Chiefs. And instead, they lose they, to the Bengals. They Gary, Gary, they would they would have been a massive underdog to the Chiefs. Oh yeah, but they, they at least would've. they would have had the game at home at least. That, uh, that that doesn't matter. And, and playoff football, man, that stuff just doesn't matter anymore. Agree. What, what matters is talent. And Ryan Tannehill and this Titans team wasn't the number one overall seed team to begin with. That record was fraud because they got to play three teams that didn't have a quarterback worth an absolute shit. No, no, no. You are not Six wrong times. about that. And now they have out of, Malik out Willis. Of 16 games, 17 games. They, they got to play three special needs quarterbacks. That's just not okay. <laughs> so here's what Tannehill said. He said, uh, he said, that's part of being a quarterback in the same room. Uh, we're competing against each other. We're watching the same tape. We're doing the same drills. I don't think it's my job to mentor him, but if he learns from me along the way, that's a great thing. I don't know. I, it's it's just a little strange, right? Uh, he said, I texted Malik right after we drafted him. I wasn't informed of the selection beforehand, but same thing with trading AJ. The team is going to do the best thing that they think is in the best interest of the uh, of the team. I have no problems with Malik. We're looking to add talent and guys that can help us, so we'll add him to the room and go from there. Uh, tell me, I always find it a little weird because this is not the first time that this has happened. I mean, it, we, we've seen this happen multiple, all the way dating back to Brett Favre. Brett Favre did not want the Packers to draft Aaron Rodgers. And, and maybe it helped Aaron Rodgers grow a little bit, or maybe it made him uh, that much more of, what's the nicest way to say prick? What's it, how, how, do you, how do you say that? Uh, he he's got a chip on his shoulder all the time, right? No, so, but, I, but I think he was always a prick. Like, I, I think that I too. I don't think Favre made him a prick. Like Tom, Tom has got a chip on the shoulder. Yes, but Tom's not a prick. Like, so, but uh, but none of the so Jimmy Garoppolo, obviously one of those guys that. I don't know that Tom Brady necessarily mentored him, but it was somebody that Jimmy G could learn from. We need to stop. We need to stop. We need to have a semantics lesson right now. We need to have a conversation about words, okay? Mentor. Mentor is is somebody who you spend deep emotional time with that you listen to and learn from outside of work, outside of your life. Now, you're talking about, oh, I want you to mentor me professionally, like in our work. Oh, you mean you want to learn under me? That's that's a, I, I think that's a different thing, okay? A mentor is somebody who's going to give you life advice and, and who's going to teach you things that, 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 are, that are outside of the realm of the game and whatever. Listen, they drafted Malik Wills. He can't learn anything from Ryan Tannehill. They drafted him because he's not Ryan Tannehill. Right? Agreed. They drafted Agreed. him, so they don't want him to learn shit from Ryan, all right? Now, what Ryan needs to understand, and all these other quarterbacks also need to understand, is you don't, it's not your job to be a mentor. It is your job to be a teammate, okay? Yes. And if you ever go down and or get benched, it is still your responsibility to the team, to the organization, to the fans, to make sure that guy behind you is ready for success, all right? That he's prepared. You put the damn headset on, on the sidelines. You hold the clipboard. You give him notes when he comes over to the sidelines. And it doesn't matter if he took your job because he's better than you or if he got it because you were hurt. It is your responsibility to be a teammate, not to just that one person, but to everyone on the roster. Agreed. That's what's important. Agreed. Right? And, and, and I think these guys, 
think that, well, I'm not going to teach him anything. Oh, you're not? When we're watching film, I can't tell you. I mean, golly, it's been decades since I've been in a, a locker room watching film. But I can't tell you how many times Jordan Pettit and Kelvin Bell pulled me aside and showed me what I was doing wrong to go against them every day in practice. Because they knew it was better for the team for me to be better. Because when we get into the game, I'm not going against them anymore. And they want me to make sure my technique is right, my, my, my steps are right, and I know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. So it's Ryan's responsibility to the organization. And all these other pricks, by the way, Joe Flacco, all these guys, for some reason people lump Tom in with this, and I take umbrage with that. Tom took Jacoby Brissett and Jimmy Garoppolo with him everywhere, not just football. I mean, that was more of a mentorship. They yes. went to his, his place in Montana when he passed with re- receivers in the offseason. They went to the Derby together. Like, he got the suite. He paid for everything. He called them the Wolf Pack. Like, he did all of Like, he did all of that. Yes. That's more mentorship than anything. Yes, I agree. And, no, I, I think you're right. I think there is a, a problem with the certain words that are used, right? And in this situation – I don't know that Ryan Tannehill is the bad guy here. I think the situation is it, people were already kind of out on Tannehill anyway. Yep. There's a way that you could have rephrased that to make it, hey, I'm going to do my job to be the best teammate that I can be, as opposed to it's not my job to be a mentor. Like, it, there's certain ways you can phrase this, right? Like, uh, I, I'm going to, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he, he didn't phrase it right, but, but he also... He's under, I know he was asked a question, okay? So he's yeah. answering the question, right? So, so I'm, not, I'm not blaming him for that. He, he, didn't, he didn't come out and just openly say this. And I know, but here's the thing. He was asked that question by a media member, but he wasn't asked that question by the front office. He wasn't asked that question by the coaching staff. Because I'm going to bet you a lot of money that the front office and the coaching staff doesn't want him mentoring them, all right? I, I was in the business of hiring managers that worked under one office in, uh, under me, okay? All right? And when I brought a new manager in, and I had a manager that wasn't real good, I made it really important to that person that I brought in, you learn from me, okay? Everybody in this office has assets and good traits, but I needed to keep them away from the person that was going to pull them down, that was going to teach them bad habits. That makes sense. And, and I, didn't, I didn't want them learning under them, all right? And, and it wasn't until that person got gone until we kind of cleaned up the locker room in, in the office and just kind of, you know, everybody got together and we started helping each other a little more so it didn't seem like we were just singling this bad egg out, okay? So this is, this is the issue, and this is the problem, is he, he's asked the question, so he's got to answer it. But trust me, nobody in the world is asking him to mentor this kid. I, I agree. Malik, I agree. Malik can do things he cannot. And, and outside of being able to probably study film, and, and, you know, he knows the playbook better than Malik. I, I don't know how you teach him that. No, I so. don't think you do. I'm, I'm with you on this. I, I think that there are better ways that he could have phrased it, uh, regardless of how the question was asked or anything like that. I think yeah, uh, I think he just he talked himself into a hole, and you can't get back out yeah. of that. So, no. yeah, he's I mean, going to be he, looked he, at. He, uh, he's, not, he's not good at playing quarterback, and he's also not good at, at handling questions that are tough, like, Apparently, this guy has a problem under pressure. <laughs> I think we, we might have already known that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.